A teacher is suspended without pay and several more educators are reprimanded after video of a school play goes viral. Mm, the video being shared on Facebook shows second graders at an Atlanta charter school performing a black history play while holding those black face masks. Fox has Marissa Mitchell spoke with parents tonight about the controversy and the consequences. Weeks after the play, parents are still talking about what happened here at the school. School leaders sent a message to parents telling them that even though the performance was not held with ill intent, it did lack professional judgment. In this video, which is being shared by hundreds on Facebook, second graders at the Kendesi School at Old Fourth Ward hold up black face masks while reciting the poem, We Wear the Mask. The school says it was part of a black history program. The performance may have been a little offensive to others. I was in shock and because I just wasn't expecting that type of thing. In this letter to parents, leaders at the Kendesi School wrote in part, it was chosen to celebrate the resilience and persistence of the black community in contrast to an image that has been historically associated with its suppression. However, the choice and the way it was executed was not student-centered or respectful to our parents and our community. And in this letter from the school to the Atlanta Public School Superintendent, officials say they suspended Rochelle Clay, the second grade teacher teacher who put on the performance and reprimanded nine other educators, including the principal. School leaders added, although some teachers raised reservations about the mask, they never made them known to Clay or the administration. The letter goes on to say Clay did not tell parents about the mask before the children took stage. It was a great performance by the kids overall. Not everyone found the performance offensive, but all agree the plans for the play should have been shared. There will be more hands-on, and that's great. You know, we're a community. School leaders say they have put several steps in place to hopefully avoid something like this from happening again. They have partnered with a group called Overcoming Racism to provide training to staff. In Atlanta, Marissa Mitchell, Fox 5 News.